up next is Army of the Dead Part 1. Part 2 is later down in the album, so let's see what this one's all about. <laughs> Asgard, I was trying to think of the name of where they lived. That's what it is, Asgard. Um, yeah, interesting, they're talking about the Valk Valkyries and everything, which are these uh, female powerful warriors, you know. It it's interesting, the, s the subject matter, but musically it does nothing for me. I I'm always going to be 100% honest with you guys. So far, King of Kings is the only thing I would actually return to. I know I respect these type of things more than I actually enjoy them or would like re-listen to them i know some people would eat this up there they would love it having this concept album with these different layers and orchestras and that coming in it gives it that epic feel and it feels like you're listening to a story being on being told i get that it's just not for me but i'm glad some people do love this um yeah so the track number five is up next S sleep near slept near sleep near <laughs> Um, okay, let's see what that one's all about. I have no idea what that word even means. He is descended from giants. His father, Loki, God of Fire, is the sworn blood brother to Odin himself. He rides across land, sea, and air, from the land of the living to the land of the dead. So Loki is Odin's uh, blood brother, sworn brother. Um, I know in the shitty Marvel movies, it's uh, Loki and Thor are brothers, but not really brothers, like half brothers or step brothers or whatever. You know what I mean? Uh, but. I know they could have screwed up the story most likely. So in here it's saying that Loki is Odin's swarm brother. Interesting. And a lot of talk about elements in here like fire, wind, uh, and all that shit. It's, it's just pretty interesting. I'm trying to pick everything up. Across land, sea, and air. From the land of the living to the land of the dead. This eight-legged steed crosses eight points of the compass from eight directions into eight dimensions. He is the bringer of the valiant dead from the battlefield to Valhalla. Carry we who die in battle over land and sea across the rainbow
is this Loki they're talking about heading to Asgard or whatnot? I don't know. Um, a lot to pick up, you know, uh, without the lyrics to him just trying to listen. But yeah, I'm glad that this turned into an actual song. I thought it was just going to be another interlude narration piece, but it just kind of started like that. Uh, heading to to meet up with Odin, <laughs> it seems. Son of Fire. got it this time um it's someone going around and picking up all the dead on the battlefield of course that were vikings or whatever who were into this type of mythology and when they die they obviously go to valhalla that's their type of heaven for these gods or for these warriors i should say and yeah and talking about them going on their journey to this place of the dead basically uh past rainbow bridge and everything uh pretty catchy chorus the song is pretty on par with King of Kings. I think I like King of Kings just a bit more. But this one was great. A lot of energy, especially from the drums, keeping things alive in the background. And yeah, I'm just glad it wasn't another narration piece throughout the whole song. Just a little bit in the starting. Uh, some people are going to hate me for this, but that is just not my thing, guys. <laughs> Stick to the music for me. Uh, we're on track number six next, which is Loki, God of Fire. So let's check it out. Can he defy? 
brother of Thor and Odin, god of war. Maybe it's not meaning like specifically brother. Maybe it's like brother as in like brother, <laughs> you know? Um, yeah, interesting track. Really letting you know everything you need to know about Loki. He's like the, the master of hell, god of fire. Is he not the god of mischief either? I know that could have been just something that Marvel friggin' slapped on him, but uh, it did say he's a shapeshifter and he's sly and whatnot. So very interesting stuff, man. This is probably the standout track for me so far. I, I, I'm loving the lyrical content and the music. Great riffs. Eric Adams is going in that lower register, doing that cool voice he does when he goes lower. I'm digging it. Loki God of Fire riff right there not doing it perfect but you know what i mean love that little guitar work in there hear the fire burning at the end uh interesting way to end the track too it was like they were so like slowly removing some drum parts and stuff very cool the solos on the three uh tracks that we had with music so far have been stellar again he can shred his ass off but he's also incorporating a lot of style and uh, nuances in there that i really like he gives it like a whole nother flavor from the solos we heard before uh, yeah, this is my favorite track so far. Loki, God of Fire. I'm digging it. This is my type of thing. Uh, up next, we got Blood Brothers. So let's check it out. When the world turns you away, a friend will not say no. There is strength that we all have. It's not the strength we show. And in your darkest hour, in your darkest night, whatever life will do, I am here for you think of me wherever you are when it seems like you're reaching the end call on me know in your heart on one you can always depend I am that friend so blood brothers it's about no matter what situation you get yourself in uh thick or thin 
I'll be there. Your friend will should always be there for you no matter what. Um, yeah. Though we're far away, the stars above are the same. When you feel alone, there's one who shares your pain. A true friend has no price. There is none to pay. Interesting to have the, the not marching band, but like, you know, that type of snare in there in the song. Um, a more slower, like ballad type track, which it's usually not my thing, but I'll take this any day over just an interlude or a narration or whatever, you know. And this had a very melodic, catchy chorus that, you know, is easy to resonate with and relate to if you have a friend like this, if you have someone to watch your back or who uh, always, always are there for you, right? Um, and, and it may go with the story, this concept album, but it would also work on any Man of War album, you know? Uh, it just feels like one of their great ballad tracks. Again, not really my thing, but I can appreciate this much more. And I did really like the, the subject matter and the, the chorus. I thought that was great. So, yeah, Blood Brothers, not what I was expecting at all, <laughs> but pretty good. <laughs> 